Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have left themselves open to criticism after spending £2.4 million of taxpayers' money on a series of home renovations to their Frogmore Cottage property, a royal expert has warned. Meghan Markle, 37, and Prince Harry, 34, moved into Frogmore Cottage, which sits on the grounds of Windsor Castle, ahead of the arrival of their first child. The pair moved into the home following the £2.4 million renovations, which took around six months and was largely completed shortly before Archie was born on May 6. Despite insisting the royal family make money for the British economy, royal commentator Robert Jobson said the multi-million pound cost to taxpayers is too much after unofficial estimates had originally claimed taxpayers would only be asked to stump up around £1.5 million. He told ITV's Good Morning Britain, What we probably have here is that it is too much money and there was a flat available, a big apartment, at Kensington Palace. Number 1. The Duke of Gloucester was happy for that to happen. They were offered a huge apartment, the Duke of Gloucester's apartment. ITV host Susanna Reid hit back and pointed out Kensington Palace was the wrong place because Harry and Meghan did not want to be in the heart of London. But the royal expert said the British people will not understand that. He continued, the fact is that all this security is in place. All this security is there. The roof was being rebuilt for about £1.2 million. That was going to be happening anyway. I think that they are going to leave themselves open to criticism which they should really be doing. All of the soft furnishings and that has all been paid for by Prince Charles. And also everything they do in public is paid for by Charles Duchy of Cornwall. The couple has since been given planning permission to paint the exterior of the Grade 2 listed house this summer at the expense of the taxpayer and to landscape the gardens out of their own pockets. The cost to the taxpayer of the decorating work this summer is expected to be less than £350,000. Major work on the cottage including replacing defective wooden ceiling beams and floor joists have been finished. Outdated and inefficient heating systems were updated, the home needed substantial new electrical rewiring, including its own electrical substation, and new gas and water mains were installed. Sir Michael Stevens, keeper of the Privy Purse, the Queen's chief financial advisor, explained why the money was spent using cash from the taxpayer-funded sovereign grant on the couple's new official residence. He said, the property had not been the subject of work for some years and had already been earmarked for renovation in line with our responsibility to maintain the condition of the occupied royal palace's estate. The Sovereign Grant covered the work undertaken to turn the building into the official residence and home of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and their new family. The building was returned to a single residence and outdated infrastructure was replaced to guarantee the long-term future of the property. Substantially all fixtures and fittings were paid for by their royal highnesses.